Which dog? Whoa! Why do I, why is there a pickle in the drink? Why is there a pickle in the drink? Why is there a pickle in the drink? What is in the drink? Most local consider it its foundational elements to be a healthy dose of Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sierra Mist, Sundrop, cherry flavoring, cherry wine, lemon, and pick. Yeah, get that shit the f all the way the f out of here, respectfully. So we have another tier list, you know what I'm saying? And this tier list is definitely interesting. Definitely gonna be a little interesting. So we all eat fast food. Actually, Blue Rye, I don't actually eat fast food. I only eat cooked meat. All right, yeah, Eugene, okay. So for most of us, we've had fast food in our lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Um, but with fast food, there's the probability that a lot of that shit can be disgusting. I'm not gonna hold you, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna look at today and put it in the tier list. So now we have a list of the most disgusting fast food items ever. You know what I'm saying? Um, from multiple fast food establishments. And then we have an actual tier list and we're gonna go ahead and rank them. Y'all know how we do the tier list, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. But let, all right, let's go ahead and get it right into it. So first item we have, let me see. Whop, Whopper Ito. Okay, it's a keto that's a Whopper, or a burrito that's a Whopper. Burgers and burritos, without a doubt. These are two popular fast food samples. It's no wonder someone got creative at Burger King and decided to combine the two. Um, it doesn't look that bad. It just looked like somebody just threw this shit together. Like, I don't, it, it's not something that, like, would I try it? Probably not. But it's just like a, it's just like a burger on a different type of, like, wheat. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the worst thing I've seen. I just don't know what they were thinking when they really made this. And I don't think I would really purchase this with my money. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. I, I had it when it was around. It was all right, but they had better shit than that. Like, we're, we'll just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and put those in mid. Like, I think it can get a lot worse than that. I'm not going to hold you. I think it can get a lot worse than that. Um, Mountain Dew AM Taco Bell? I'm confused on what I'm looking at. I like the uh, Baja Blast at, at Taco Bell. From Baja Blast to Code Red, there's a Mountain Dew flavor for every occasion. Um, the chain took their soda partnership to the next level. It just so happened that Taco Bell's rolling gets line of breakfast foods and excess and ex executives decided, uh, guests would need a beverage to accompany their ex scramblers and hash, hash brown. Okay. So what am I looking at though? New Mountain Dew. Wake up with Mountain Dew and OJ. OJ? Simpson? Simpson? OJ, I know y'all not talking orange juice. I know y'all not talking orange juice. That's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. That's orange juice and Mountain Dew. That's that's sick. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. That's that's that just sounds that that don't look good either. By the way, the I don't know what's good with that advertisement, but the Mountain Dew don't even look good. The Mountain Dew looks like like mutant piss. I'm not gonna capture you, bro. That's a deadly combo. I'm not gonna lie. That that I don't know why you want to do that, bro. That's that's insane. Okay, we're just gonna put those in in holy, you know what I'm saying? Sick. I ain't gonna count. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. I'm not gonna not appealing at all. I don't know who would who would even think about getting that. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, Kit Kat chocolate. Next. Um. Okay. I'm I'm really getting tired of this, man. Okay, let me let me hear it out before I really put it in there. Chocolate Dilla just is enough to make me not wanna ever look into it ever and of course it's taco bell again taco bell attempted to add more to its limited repertoire or i that's a big word for blue rye uh of sweets to 2017 in the past the chains have tried its hand at dessert quesadillas quesadillas including a s'mores inspired at one spain location but the most infamous ended up the kit kat chocolate dilla was initially launched at a, a test product in the uk of course of course the uk of course, of course, the UK. Let him cook. Let him cook. Hell, bro, don't let him cook at all. Take the spatula, the knife, any type of materials, any food, take it away from him. Do not let him cook. Don't let him cook at all. Don't let him touch it at all. Do not let him cook. Uh, bro. This just looks like a regular chicken tender. Let me read it. Popeye struck gold recently with his fried chicken sandwich, but it had a few limited edition releases in the past that didn't result in the same appeal sonic thank you for the uh thank you for the the 
Prime, appreciate you. One of the questionable entries of the sweet and crunchy tenders was branded as cookie dough tenders. Okay, but what was in it though? Of course, the delectable pieces of chicken weren't exactly coated in ch uh, chocolate chip. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Well, they were fried in shortbread cookie. Oh no, never mind. Nah, that's that's, that's still that's still the choice. Still the choice. I might need jail behind this. This gotta be racist. The bro. only reason I'm not putting it in Detroit is because it's cookie dough bread, and that's still horrible. But that's the only reason it's not going in Detroit. I'm not gonna hold you. That's the only reason I'm not going. That sounds. That still sounds terrible. That's in any chicken. Any type of Popeye, Popeye should not be associated with anything cookie related. You know what I'm saying? But the only reason it's not going in the trade is because it says it's just sweet bread cookie coating. This might not be that bad. Nah, that it sounds horrible. I don't know what's good with y'all sweet and salty fiends, but it doesn't work for chicken, bro. It, it just it don't. It it, it don't. I'm not, it might taste like chicken and syrup. I like the cookies at Wendy's. I like the cookies at Wendy's too. I always get the sugar cookies from there. But um, hey, that's y'all type of vibes. Then I mean, go ahead, but that's not me. Hula Burger. What am I looking at? The availability of McDonald's filet of fish is limited in some areas, but the iconic sandwich makes nationwide debut every year around this time. Da -da 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 -da. Black Star, thank you for the gifted. Appreciate you. Um, having with the test of time, this the popular fish sandwich is on. This is fish. McDonald's decided to test its water with another meatless burger. If it's not meat, and it's not uh the Beyond Meat or or the the vegetarian meat, this shit is fucking Jello at its finest. Wait, bro, what is fish? That what fish? What fish is that? It what what what's fish? I've never seen no fish in my life take that type of that joint is see through. Uh, pineapple shark. Oh, that shit is cracking. I don't know what type of fish that that is, but like, that's kind of ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But I guess if y'all like fish and it's pineapple, that if it was pineapple, that would make it even worse. Like, the concept was simple. Okay, serve a thick slice of grilled pine. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no wrong, yeah, yeah. If it was fish, it would it would have actually put it a little bit above. But just off the strength that it's pineapple, and it why does it have cheese on it? Why does it have cheese on it? Grilled pineapple topped with cheese and a pineapple and cheese sound like you're gonna be on the toilet for at least a decade. I'm like, that's disgusting. There, there, there's nothing ever did. But blue, I, I like pineapple on my pizza. Well, yeah, you're still weird for that, but that's a little bit more understandable than this. I'm not gonna cap to you. Um, that pineapple definitely has seen better days, though. I'm not gonna hold you. But hey, that's y'all then. Kit Kat sandwich. In Japan, the folks behind Kit Kat has gone full steam ahead and introducing a range of unique flavors. From edamame, soybean, and matcha green tea wasabi in pear, there's a Kit Kat for every craving. The Japan Wendy's subsidiary known as First Kitchen took this love of crunchy candy bar and took it to a new level with a First Kit Kat sandwich. What is... Okay. Um, the sandwich is simple enough. White bread bun stuffed with... To titlier, I've never heard this word in my life. Candy bar and a healthy serving of whipped cream and orange peel. I, I mean, I guess it kind of sounds a little. I wouldn't try this. I'm not gonna hold you. Not that bad. We definitely seen worse, but I definitely wouldn't try this. So I mean, I keep it in mid because, because, cause, but like that sounds. Pretty just uh, that. Hold on. Orange peel, whipped cream, chocolate, and I don't know if the bread is real bread or if it's like, like a sweet bread. I, I that's why the only reason why I'm putting it in mid because I can't 100 percent tell. But orange peels is actually crazy. I'm not gonna. In fact, ooh, orange peels though is crazy. Orange peels is crazy. I'm putting orange peels is crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in holy because of the orange peels. That's actually there's no defending that. Um, y'all ever eat like it's like when y'all eating orange chicken. Y'all ever had orange chicken and then like you're eating the orange chicken and then when you taste the when you taste the um like the orange, your tongue just shrivels up like SpongeBob in that one episode, bro. Like I don't know, the peels is 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 really throwing it off. Um, Cheeto chicken sandwich. 
Look, 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 listen, 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 listen to what I have to say. Listen to what I have to say. Listen to what I have to say. I understand. I under I, I understand. I understand. Look, 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 look. That this don't look too bad. This don't look too bad. Y'all know me. That look bad to you. This, it don't look too bad. It, it don't it don't it don't look too bad. I mean, I I've, I've, I've definitely had worse. You know, I had better too, but it don't look too bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this sound good to me. It doesn't look too bad. Hold on. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's just say there's nothing like Taco Bell's iconic, long-standing, successful collaboration with Doritos. So this Popeye, oh no, this is KFC. Never mind. This KFC. Never mind. Never mind. It's KFC. Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. It's KFC. Never mind. It's KFC. Never mind. Never mind. It's KFC. Never mind. It's KFC. It's KFC. Never mind. I thought it was Popeye's. If it was Popeye's, we would have been cooking. But it's KFC. Never mind. That just killed it. That just that really just killed the entire hype for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never mind. It's KFC. We don't care. We don't. We don't care. We 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 die. We, we just putting it in mid now. I'm not go Hooji. We don't care. Like if it was Popeye, you would have been cooking a little bit. But it's just KFC. We don't care anymore. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, let's continue. Edible coffee cup. Another KFC. Why would you? I mean, I guess they have like sugar cones and edible ice cream cones. So I guess. Um. I guess Robin Club, the London based firm that helped KFC come up with this project, is reportedly looking into options like edible spoon spoons and uh, medicinal marshmallows. What? The test cup is made from a biscuit, aka a cookie, then wrapped in sugar, paper, and lined in heat resistant white chocolate. That actually doesn't sound too. I, I feel like I would try this. Maybe I'm chattering, but that doesn't sound. That's like a rare London W. That actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm not going to hold you. Um, that's right. It'll literally be a melt-in-your-mouth experience. The only issue is the hotter the coffee, the faster your cup melt. Oh. Oh, it, it is coffee. And if it's hot coffee. Man, I get a Frappuccino. What, man? I get a Frappuccino. Like, I, I get a Frappuccino. I'm not worried about no hot coffee. Damn, the cup is melting. It is chocolate, so it'll melt if it's coffee. Damn, that actually, that's that's a good point. I'll give me a frappuccino, man. Give me a give me a a, a caramel uh, cold brew or, or a caramel a caramel frap in this cup. That's that's good eats. I go who's you? Where you KW feel like a, a chat, I'm, I'm gonna make this work. I know what it's saying. I understand what it's saying, but I make this work with some some frappuccinos. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm put, I'm putting those in good eats. I'm putting those in good eats. I ain't gonna hold you. Bad concepts when it comes to hot coffee, though. Horrible concepts, but I I put those in good eats. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, frappuccino, you're zesty. How it's full? It's a drink. It is a drink. Why? It, like, it's... I don't know what be good with y'all, but now you just can't do nothing without being cold. It's a drink. What? Because I like cold, frozen coffee. It's zesty. What? That looks disgusting. I don't even know what it is, but that looks nasty, bro. It doesn't look good. I think it's burgers and pizza. It doesn't look good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack. It just doesn't. It doesn't look good. Detroit. Hi, thank you for the four months. Okay, from making crust out of mozzarella sticks to tossing chicken tenders on pie, Pizza Hut, there's no way Pizza Hut did this. We'll just throw about anything on at the pizza oven and see if it sticks. One of the chain's most ludicrous inventions were the very regal crown crust pizza. This don't even look real. Like, this don't even look like pizza. This looks like, this don't look like pizza. Pizza Hut would never, right? Um, available exclusively at Pizza Hut locations in the Middle East. Okay, that's why we never seen it. The abomination was literally essentially a cheeseburger pizza, finished off with a little cheeseburger gems like Burger King. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna hold you. Y'all might say this. This sound. This sounds good in theory, like in, in concept, but the execution is horrible. Like it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't even look good. Um. So I'm just gonna put it right there. It might be good, but it's just like this photo just looks. It's. I don't know. It's just not it. This is, this is not it. Pizza Hut sells salad. Found that out since yet. Pizza Hut sells. Who gets salad from Pizza Hut? What? I've never seen nobody wake up and just like, damn. I could really go for some Pizza Hut salad, my mom. That's insane. I'm not going to hold you. 
Gra 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 Burger. Um, that is fried. Um, this name is a combination of the Japanese words gratin and kokoroki. The latter being Japanese version of croquet. I'm gonna at my booty naked. That's why Domino's is better. Damn, chat, y'all gonna let him talk about Pizza Hut like that? However, instead of being stuffed with chopped meat and veggies, the fried bread crumb crusted patty is filled with a mixture of creamy sauce, shrimp, and macaroni. That's what's in there? Again, it sounds cool. It sounds good. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't sound good on paper. I'm not gonna hold you. It doesn't sound good on paper. It sounds interesting on paper, but that just sounds like a stomach ache waiting to happen. I'm not, there's no way your stomach is really. There's no way your stomach is really surviving after that. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, it's going right where the other one was going. I'm I'm good off that personally. I'm good. Mac and shrimp sounds so god awful. Well, I've had, I've, y'all never had shrimp pasta before. Shrimp pasta is good, but, and mac is a pasta, but like just all that and some sauce in the middle and ketchup and mustard on top, that just sounds like, I don't know. You're not surviving that. I'm not going to hold you. Why did you add the macaroni? I have no idea. All right. Next one. Next one. Next one. Coral burnt. Why is the cheese? Why is the cheese that color? Ooh, you 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 know what you are. You you do you 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 woof man. Mm. Um, back in 2014, the Burger King restaurants in Japan served up a brand new item: the kuro. Kuro means black in Japanese. Describes the product perfectly. The buns and cheese burger are colored. Why is it colored a sleek black? Thanks to some added bamboo charcoal. But the gimmick doesn't end there. Even the ketchup is colored black. Because of the squid ink added. That does not sound good. It sounded it happened to us too for Halloween. That's nasty, bro. I don't even feel safe eating that, bro. The black buns and ketchup were introduced to the public two years earlier. That's all I need to see. It's in Detroit. It's not leaving there. But if y'all like that, then I mean, the double down the KFC. KFC has just had. Is that a glick wrapped in chicken tenders? Yeah. KFC literally promotes nothing but heart disease and bad decisions. I'm not going to lie to you because this is really, this is really, this is actually ridiculous. So it, it. KFC put the double down on its April Fool's Day press release, promoting the slogan, so much 100% premium chicken, we didn't have room for a bun. Damn. Well, to be honest, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. This is probably the most unhealthiest thing of all time. But this is probably actually the first like solid one that I, I probably would eat on here. Well, besides this one, but... I probably, I probably actually eat this. I'm not gonna hold you. Now it is KFC, so that tells you a lot about it. It's less edible as I look at it. I'm not gonna hold you. Look uh, at the pictures of the double down. It's horrible. Hold on, let me look at Google Photos. Do you know advertisements didn't even make it look like whatever? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. Twitch, this is an entire hot dog. This is a sausage. This is a frame. Don't be trying to turn it into something that is not. Um, bro. Never mind, bro. Never mine bro we're gonna go ahead and just put that all the way down here bro thank you mari that is horrible okay there's a lot going on here um have you ever wanted to hold on let me read this in the next sentence 
The pie is shaped like a star. Each point is stuffed with toppings from steak, bacon, to mushroom and cheese. The star in the center is pie makers place on one of the saddest salads we've ever seen. And to top it off, the cucumber and lettuce shreds. A heap of greasy french fries and ambiguous dipping sauces for $14. Customers can customize each of the Vulcan's pockets so this standard version could turn out regularly tame. Um, why, but why get this though? I don't really get it. I don't really, I mean, it's, it, it looks cool though. It looks, it looks cool though. I mean, but like, why would you really want this though? I'm gonna put this in mid. It looked cool. Some people might like it, but I'm not really a, a fan of it personally, bro. That, that's, I don't, I don't need to read nothing else for that. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I don't care to really read nothing else regarding that. We're just going to keep it. Okay. That's Arby's. Yeah. We got to automatically put those on there. Yeah. Sorry, Arby's. Yeah. Keep moving. That's Arby's. Nothing to see here. Is that fries, cheese, and a whole bunch of roast beef? I want y'all to know when I ate this meat mound, I almost threw up, bro. Y'all know this, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, Blue Riot WSG, bro. First time in the stream. Blue, the last of my check on this. Love you, bro. No homo. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the uh, the dollar dono. I appreciate you, bro. Shout out to you for watching. Um, I don't like looking at these. I'm going to keep them moving. That's disgusting. Cheesa. Uh, this, this, this. KFC, stop making. KFC, stop making food. KFC, stop creating stuff. Stick to what you're good at. Y'all not even, bar you're barely good at that. Stop making stuff. Yo, this is like KFC's fifth time on this list. We're not even done yet. KFC, stop making stuff. Yo, that looks nasty. Um, what am I looking at? Hold on, let me see. The cheese is a spin on Hawaiian style pizza. It's chicken, ham, chicken, ham, chick, not chicken and ham. It's chicken, ham, tomato sauce, cheese sauce, mozzarella, pineapple. On on a fried chicken base in a Louis of dough of dough that looks terrible. It doesn't sound good, and I wouldn't be caught dead eating that. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This is something you would get at school. Like this, is definitely some school lunch. Alcatraz eats. I'm pretty sure Alcatraz prison has better eats than this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Star Edge pepper uh, pizza. Okay, what are we working with? Hot dog stuffed crust to loaded pizza ringed with. Eight miniature meat pies. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Talk, 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 talk. While it's difficult to pick just one standout abomination from the Star Edge Pizza, released exclusively in South Korea, definitely has its gross out advantage coming in at 32. God damn, $32 for that Small ass pizza? 32 for that? Damn. Star Edge Pizza. Look it up. Let me see. That shit is expensive for no reason. Star Edge Pizza. Okay, I think we can really look at the ingredients here. I can't really make it out right there. It's all South Korea. Uh, this is what they, the pizza is in South Korea, so. I'm not gonna lie, it look good. I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna sit here and lie and cap to you. It, it, it kind of look, it's expensive, but we're not talking about the price. I'm just talking about does it look good or does it look bad? You know what I'm saying? The price is crazy, you know what I'm saying? But it look good though. It look, it look good though. That's why I'm at it, so. We're gonna put it in good eats. Not no S tier eats. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you not in Detroit? Good eats. I'm a very picky eater, but I just tried ketchup and fries for the first time today. I should have tried it a long time ago. Castile, you're like 18 years old. Castile, you're 18 years of age. How have you not had ketchup and fries? What? I'm not going to hold you. I thought I was a picky eater, but I've never heard nothing. That is insane. That is insane, bro. You're, you're a grown man, though. 
who's never tried ketchup and fries. Yo, you're way pickier than me. I don't think any of my family could ever say I'm picky ever again. Bro, just try ketchup and fries. What stopped you from trying ketchup and fries? Like, with the, like is it the ketchup? Is it the fries? bit of mocha and bold buffalo sauce okay it's it's getting worse as we go down it's really getting worse bro i don't even need to research some of these bro it's actually like i don't know who really thought this is a good idea don't be at the taste test these who taste test this and lived to tell the story to really be like oh yeah we're gonna give this a green light like a lot of these have to be taste tested bro who is letting the, these pass by the taste test all right bro foie gras Wendy's. Wendy's, you do not need to be selling no fancy eats like this, bro. It's made from duck or goose liver. Foie gras is luxury um, item. According to French law, a true foie gras comes from the liver of a duck or a goose that is fattened with corn. That I'm not going to lie. That already doesn't sound good. I'm not going to hold you. But it says Wendy's executives made it may uh when these executives at wendy's thought differently wendy's introduced the foie gras burger in a japanese restaurant um 16 is 16 dollars topped with truffle butter <sighs> ah bad memories um would revolutionize their way to get fast food this is a release of to out that's just that's not it i'm not gonna lie that's not it that's that's not it 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 it's not it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not it. It's not it. Not it. Firecracker burrito. Okay, hold on. Let them cook with firecracker. Why is it? Why is it a firecracker burrito? Is this like hot Cheetos? Taco Bell releases orange hued product in the fall 2017. This burrito is usually stuffed with beef, rice, cheese, sour cream, but uh, also features one of the most mind blowing. The or at least one of the mind snapping crackling popping ingredient, cayenne flavored popping crystal. So pop rocks, just like cayenne pepper flavored. I feel like there are people who are really like this, but it's not me though. It's it's not. It's basically just. I mean, I feel like there are some people who really really love this, like really be. But it doesn't sound good to me. It sounds like a. A burning toilet experience is waiting to happen. But I, I'm not going to hold you. This isn't bad, though. It's just that I don't mind a fan of... First of all, I'm not a fan of talking about, talk about and I don't really like spicy too, spicy foods like that. So I'm going to leave that to the professionals. If y'all want to put that higher, then I mean, I definitely can. But I'm going to just put it in mid. You know what I'm saying? I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Buffalo Crunch Donut. Shrimp and beef burger. That looks so nasty. That looks so nasty, bro. Why? And McDonald's and the shrimp is crazy, bro. I'd never getting shrimp from McDonald's. You're basically begging for a stomachache. There's no way you're not just like you're just you're just begging for a stomachache at that point. Um. The world's most popular burger joint introduced the shrimp and beef burger. Um, in beef patty, lettuce, tomato sauce, the special feature introduces an uh, additional crispy patty stuffed with whole shrimp. That's that can't be good for your immune system. It just can't. It just can't. I'm not gonna hold you, and I don't think that that needs to go together. I'm not gonna lie to you. That it just kind of looks weird. It looks like I got orange peppermints. Yeah, I do. I'm not gonna lie. Deep fried salmon bites by KF. What is, yo, if I see KFC one more time on this list, by the way, that looks, that doesn't look good. I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way at being with you. I don't know what y'all try to argue me. Y'all going to be, it doesn't look good. Um, Japan only tree spawned from how uh, most delightful is cross promotional uh, efforts are on the list. San, Sanrio, makers of the Hello Kitty character, introduced a mascot for KFC Japan named Agami-kun. Or Gimme Coon. It was a humanoid body character with a giant fil salmon fillet for a head. Uh, with a doll of a tartar shop. A Gimme Coon joined Sanrio's Kimri and also fillet head. 
Now I know what my last dono was, but somebody in chat just Kaye Sesame Seeds pimples. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, I don't need... I don't need any type of salmon coming from um from KFC. I'm gonna keep it a sec. I don't I don't I don't need it. I don't want it. And it's it's just not it's just not a good look, chat. I'm not gonna hold you. It's just it's just it's just not a good look. Um at Tracy. Okay. Next one. We're almost done. Which dog? Whoa! Why do I, why is there a pickle in the drink? Why is there a pickle in the drink? Why is there a pickle in the drink? What a burger's popular fast food burger joint in Southern United States. You read that? Uh, you read that correctly. What a burger's witch doctor drink has become a sensation at the Concord, North Carolina location. Entices customers. Okay, hold on, da, da, da. what is it? Ha what is in the drink? What is in the drink? What is in the drink? Most local consider it its foundational elements to be a healthy dose of Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sierra Mist, Sundrop, cherry flavoring, cherry wine, lemon, and pick. Yeah, get that shit the all the way the fuck out of here respectfully. No, disrespectful. Get that shit all the way away from me. I'm not going to lie. You might as well keep, like, you might as well permanently ban that. And the, and the fact that y'all are offering that, drinking anything with pickles in there, you might as well drink straight up pickle juice. Like, you can go ahead and get that far away from me to fuck away from me. I, I don't even want to be in a fucking five-mile radius if I find out you drinking shit like these. That's ridiculous. I'm going to try... Uh, you know, yeah. W eats on GL. Cheesy Marmite. Marmite? Isn't Marmite that... That one shit from Australia, that nasty ass shit, is that Marmite? Marmite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that shit is nasty as fuck. Yeah, Marmite is what people in Australia put on their sandwich. It's like Marmite and Vegemite. The shit is, I've heard this shit is disgusting. Peace extract on pizza. That sounds disgusting, I'm not gonna lie, we might as well put that in jail. But you know, in Australia, they're not worried about their food, bro. They they hunt anything they need. They if, in Australia, they really likes that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They creatures. They really they're really out there. So they know how to. Boom. Oh, Would eat that would be your last meal. That's a good. That's a that's an interesting last meal to pick for yourself. I don't need to read nothing like this. McDonald's should not be making anything near lobster chat. We used to have this thing at Panera called the lobster roll. The lobster roll, I'm not you. Panera's already expensive as it is. The lobster roll costs thirty five dollars, nigga. And for this small ass fucking lobster roll, nigga, it was thirty five dollars. Anywhere you get lobster, they're taxing that shit, nigga. So. You think McDonald's is selling you lobster for $9.99 and thinking that shit is not like fucking camel nuts. Like, that is the crazy... That's what really is getting me about this. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that shit is... There's no way that shit is, is anywhere near delectable. So, we're putting that in Detroit. Lobster is expensive as hell. Like, come on, bro. It's literally... It literally is $9. It's $9 for lobster. That is... Y'all don't understand how crazy that is. I'm glad he took this. Out. It is literally nine dollars for a lobster. That is unheard of, nigga. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. That's crazy. Now there's something in there. I'm telling y'all, bro. Like it's not something's going on. Uh, flying fish, salmon roll, stuffed pizza. I'm not gonna lie. That shit looks nasty. It doesn't sound too bad, but it sounds nasty. Um, as scallops, shrimp, clams, crayfish, and spritz of lemon in the pizza. Nah, I'm not eggs, fish egg. Uh, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not rocking with these. I mean, I, some of y'all will. I'm not. I'm not really rocking with those. It kind of sounds good. If that's y'all type of vibe, then y'all got it. But I'm not really rocking with those personally. Lobster and caviar sandwich. It actually definitely looks better than uh the one that McDonald's tried to show us. But again, having anything caviar, lobster, seafood related, and then putting it for like a, a price that's under like $12 is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, 16 
Mm, they upping up the price a little bit. That's still kind of not what the lobster be costing, but huh? Not eating that shit though. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not doing that. It just looks better than the McDonald's one. You know what I'm saying? Edible nip. Yeah. KFC, y'all about to get the biggest, like, note from me, bro. Like, check y'all emails, bro. Check y'all emails, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm really tired of this shit, bro. Edible nail polish. No. I don't care what it is. No. Stay in y'all fucking lane and make some chicken, my nigga, because, like, seafood sat... Yo, even if this was supposed to look good, this is in the worst quality ever. This looks like a 1965 Adult Swim ad. Blue Rye Adult Swim wasn't that all the way back then. I know, I know. Um, I can't even really tell what I'm even looking at right here. Talk about KFC are neck and neck for just the, the worst eats of all time. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in, and that shit made me sick. But um, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the first tier lists where there's not a single thing on ST. I don't even know why I put an ST here because like. All the foods are terrible. Usually, one, at least one gets on S tier, but there's nothing on here that actually made it in S tier. That's tough. And I can't even lie and be like, oh, yeah, this is actually going to make it in S tier just to really put it in there. Like, nothing made it in S tier this time. Well, hey, sometimes it happens like that. But, hey, man, y'all let me know which ones that y'all really eat like that, which ones y'all wouldn't eat like that, um, which ones that y'all feel like people need to be arrested behind. That was a good tier list. Uh, if you're watching this on the tube, come to Twitch. You know what I'm saying? We live every other day. It's in the description. But, yeah, man. I right, BBG. All right. Hold up, triple deuces. Hold up, we said we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Everybody, chill.